What's up guys? I know it's been a while since I've put anything up. Um, so, long story short, the track opens this Friday. That's awesome. We are going to, if the weather permits, um, take this thing to track tomorrow and see what kind of times we can get with the 100 shot of nitrous and the new Jay Green cam and tune. Um, there's a chance of rain tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. But um, in today's video, I've had a lot of people ask me how my nitrous system's hooked up and how it works and so forth. Um, so I figured it'd be a good time to do a video on it. On top of that, um, before I did the cam, I was currently running a 125 shot. So after the cam, with this first run tomorrow, just to kind of see how everything goes, I'm actually going to rejet it and bring the nitrous down a little bit. I'm going to run a hundred shot and see how it does. Um, but we're probably going to stay at a hundred shot and just, you know, add some mods on top of that. Um, so I'm going to pull these jets out, put the smaller jets in, and that'll kind of give you a, a little bit of knowledge on, you know, how it works. And then I'll kind of go through the system, um, what everything does, how I got mine hooked up and so forth. All right. Okay, so pretty much in a nutshell, the nitrous horsepower is adjusted with these jets, okay? I've already pulled out the 100 shot jets, so that's what they look like. Your nitrous jet is always gonna have the bigger hole It'll be the bigger jet, and your fuel jet will be the smaller, the uh, smaller jet. Um, each jet, they have numbers on the sides of them. Like I says, NX. That's a that's a 52 jet. A uh, number 52 is for 100 horsepower. Um, like I said, I got the 125 jets in there now, and I believe the nitrous jet's like a 57. Um, so per NX. Their jet sheet with a 100 shot, you need a 52 nitrous jet and a 27 fuel jet if you're running gasoline. If you're running E85, obviously you're going to add a little more fuel because of the alcohol in there. So I got the 27 jet, the 52 jet in my hand, and I also have a 26 jet. I am actually probably going to go with a 26 jet only because of in the past running the 100 shot. Um, on my wideband gauge it's actually been a little rich so I'm going to lower it one number and Nitrous Express actually per their you know their little cheat sheet they say the Hemi plate systems you know they rate these jet numbers the, for the fuel jets off of 55 PSI well my truck's not running right now but when it's running you know because I, I got the fuel pressure gauge that's tapped in my fuel system all the time when I'm running, I actually get about 62 PSI, so it's a little higher. Um, you know, and every car is different. You know, majority of them might be 55, some might be 50, 60. In my case, I'm getting 62, um, so I pretty much call it 60 PSI. So, you know, the, the more free fuel pressure you have, obviously, with a jet size, you're going to have more fuel being sprayed into the engine. Um, so I'm going to lower it one, one jet size. From the 27, I'm gonna to go to a 26, and I'm and I'm hoping that should put me about right on my wideband gauge. We'll see. We'll do some runs. It might take another one, you know, another another number down, but we'll go from there. I'll prop this up here and then break these lines loose. All right. So here's the plate. This is the nitrous hose for the fuel for the fuel uh, the fuel side jet and then this one over here is the nitrous hose for the nitrous jet and these little hoses there's like an 11 millimeter wrench so I'll do the fuel first and you can see the little jet sticking in there with nitrous express kits you always put the stem into the plate 
or the nozzle or whatever, the tapered end goes towards the hose fitting. And this is a number 31 jet. And like I said, this was the 125 shot um, pills that I had in there to begin with. So let me find the 26 that we're going to actually put in there to run the 100 shot. Here it is, 26 jet, screw that back on, tighten it up. Okay. You don't have to tighten these, these uh, fittings up very tight. Um, they're kind of like plumbing, they, they seal on that tapered end. And if you actually over tighten these things, I've seen people split split the hoses and crack the hoses, so we'll have to buy a new hose. Here's a nitrous jet. And that is a 57 jet. So I was right. It's been a while since I've had it out. But so 57s for a 125 shot. And well, like I said, we're gonna do the 100 shot, so we're gonna drop it down to the 52 pill. Slide it in. And if you're new with nitrous, you can never go wrong by double checking, making sure you got the fuel jet in the fuel side and the nitrous jet in the nitrous side. Um, you can put them backwards, and basically, what's going to happen is it's not going to mix and atomize right because. How, this, how the nitrous systems usually work is they atomize the fuel with the pressure of the nitrous side. So the fuel comes in, the plate or the nozzle or whatever kind of kit you got, and then the nitrous actually sprays through the fuel and basically turns it into like a mist or a fog um, so that it mixes right. So if you put them backwards, obviously it's not going to mix right and you're going to get a big pulling effect probably. Um, and possibly end up with like a nitrous backfire or something like that. But long story short, it's not going to work right. So just make sure on your nozzle or your plate, the fuel jet's in the fuel side, and you can't see it where I got my camera right now, but on this other side it says N2O for the nitrous side. We're down to 100 shots, just like that. That's how easy it is to change horsepower on a nitrous car. Um, this plate, and you, you're probably wondering why I got so many jets, but the kit comes with all those jets because this plate's actually capable of running a two-stage system. So if I wanted to add a second stage, you see these plugs are right here. I can add more fittings and actually add a second stage. Like if I wanted to do, say, 100 shot off the line, and then say another hundred shot, you know, later on down the track or whenever I feel like it can take it. This plate lets you do that. Obviously, if you don't have a built motor, you're not going to worry about that. Um, but this plate from Nitrous Express can run a two-stage system and flows up to 400 horsepower. And they act, and they do give you the jets in there for up to 400 horsepower, as you see on the sheet. Those are the numbers and the jet sizes you need to put in there. Obviously don't do that unless you have a built motor because it's that easy to add that much horsepower. So here we go. We got our jets in. Um, eventually I'll take some more time and I'll route this stuff to where it looks a little more pretty. After I did my cam swap, I kind of threw it all back together just trying to get this thing running so I can drive it. But over here we have the nitrous solenoid right here and then we have the purge solenoid okay so this is the main feed nitrous line that goes all the way back to the bottle so the nitrous flows up to the solenoid 
when the button's pressed or the system's activated, it goes through the solenoid, comes down the hose into the plate, okay? The fuel side more or less works the same way, but how it works is they tap into the fuel system because this is a wet kit. So if you look back there, ah, there's the NX fuel adapter that plugs right onto the fuel rail so that your stock fuel line, which is that guy right there, can plug onto it, and then it gives you like a T-fitting right here to screw the nitrosolenoid feed fuel line onto. So then it feeds off the fuel, and then it comes up here, goes over here to the fuel solenoid. And then this block they give you, you can add in a pressure gauge so you can see your fuel pressure goes through the solenoid, comes out the bottom, goes through the hose, which I have routed around the back of the throttle body there, comes up, goes into the plate. So that's how that works as far as flowing. Um, all of this has all the time fuel pressure from the stock fuel system all the time. This is basically like an on-off switch. So when the system's on, it feeds fuel to the plate. When it's not on, it's a shut system, so it's just like stock. Now the purge solenoid is kind of like on its own system. It's got a power source inside the truck with a button. It's got a power in the ground. You press the button, the solenoid opens. So if the bottle's open, what happens is it actually, the nitrous comes up the line goes into this solenoid because this one's actually not on. This is a purge, so as this one, as the system's not being activated to go through the motor, this is blocked off. You hit the button. It goes into this purge solenoid out the back, and then it's hard to see because it's kind of black. I got it covered in black sheathing. But it goes through the line, and I have my purge system actually hooked up through the stock window washer sprayers. Um, you can see I tapped into the line here with like some plumbing fittings. So it ends up going up the hood into the factory tees right there. And what it does is it comes out my sprayers. So I get two blasts of nitrous when I purge my system. So I actually turn my windshield wiper or my windshield sprayer nozzles around backwards so that it's spraying forwards when I do it. <clears throat> um, obviously I don't have window you know washer sprayers anymore but I never used them anyway so I don't really care but I wanted it like that so it looked a little clean and you really didn't notice it per se so that's how the purge system works on my truck so we'll go inside um, other thing real quick um, the wiring the wiring on this stuff is very simple. They give you a diagram, it's pretty easy. All Each solenoid has two wires. And it doesn't matter which one you choose. One can be the positive, the other can be the ground. They're not color coded, it doesn't matter. As you see the two coming out of here, they're both red. So this part's simple. Um, each solenoid, I took the wire, one wire from each solenoid hooked all of them together and ran them down here to the to that bolt and grounded them because each one has to have a ground. And then the other ones are obviously going to be getting power from 12 volts. So depending on what kind of system or activation you use, if you use, you know, something simple like a wide open throttle switch, which is what I'm using, um, you know, they got, uh, you know, they got delay boxes, they got different ways to activate it. Um, controllers, whatnot, and it, it's just preference. Um, obviously, if you go that route, you're going to be wiring it differently. So I'm not going to go into that detail. I'm just going to show you how mine works. So the kit actually comes with a wide open throttle uh, sensing box that taps into your wiring harness for your throttle body. So to run that, it's it's more wires. Obviously, you got to cut into here and tap into the factory harness. I didn't want to add more wire. I didn't want to tap into the harness. 
and I'm also not new to nitrous, so I'm not worried about taking me out of the equation of how the system comes on. Um, if you're new, you know, maybe I'd rec definitely recommend using, you know, the box or some sort of activation module that you can program and it comes on and off however you set it up to come on and off. Um, I've had this stuff on every single car I've had. I've had it on a Lightning, two Mustangs. Um, it's on this truck. I had it on a crew cab Ram a long time ago that I used to have. So I usually go with a wide open throttle switch because it's easy to wire, it's easy to use, and I'm happy with it. So get your wiring down here. Obviously you gotta run your wire into the firewall up to where you got your switches or whatnot. Let me grab a light real quick, guys. All right. Take this key out so you don't have to hear it beeping. All right, so. Here's my little switch area um, on the rams. You know, if you got the center console, this little panel actually pops out. So I went with this, um, popping this out and drilling into this to put my switches. It was easy because one, you can remove it and you can, you know, work behind it pretty easy. Two, it kind of hides in there pretty good, um, so it's not real noticeable. But this is my purge button. Um, it always has power. You can probably hear that click um, so if I turn the bottle on and then press that button I'm gonna get nitrous purging out of my uh, window sprayers so that's how that works this is my arming switch if it's down and the well the keys also got to be in because um, I have it wired actually into the cigarette lighter system um, you got to pop all this off to get down to that but if it's down there's no power to my nitrous solenoids um, so the system will not come on period now if I flip it up keys on whatnot now the system's armed and it's ready to spray okay so I'm gonna turn this back off for now we're gonna pretend like it's on so down here on the pedal is where I chose to mount the wide open throttle switch because um, obviously these trucks are throttled by wire so there's no mechanical stuff up there to you know utilize um, you know like an old you know like a Mustang or something back in the day they have a you know cable and throttle linkages up there that you can kind of go with but anywho this little micro switch has two screws and it mounts to this bracket that usually the switch will come with and what I did is I removed the whole pedal from the truck so to make this easier I drilled two holes into the, the the stock pedal bracket to mount that switch okay and it you know it takes some time to figure out exactly where you got to set it so that it works right but basically the switch right here if you listen you can hear it clicking okay so if I have my my arming switch on nitrous is armed this my nitrous will not spray until I completely floor the gas pedal all the way down that's the only time you ever want to use nitrous anyway is wide open throttle so it doesn't matter how you turn your system on if you use this kind of switch or you use a happy button you know like in fast and furious that they press or whatnot never spray it unless you're wide open throttle now this switch more or less it does take me out of the equation because it's not going to work unless I'm wide open throttle so now a happy button on the other end it's going to be wired up the same way. You turn the system on to arm it, but now you got a button. You can press that button whenever you want, and it's going to spray. Now, the downfall of that is you got to make sure that the pedal, your, your gas pedal, is completely floored before you hit the happy button. If not, you're going to have a closed throttle plate, and you're going to taco that throttle plate uh, just like our buddy did the other day. Um... You guys can probably figure out who that was. Oh, uh, 
uh, Custom Black Guns, I believe is his channel. I'm terrible with remembering names and stuff, but he's got a Ram with nitrous on it, and he actually ended up getting a backfire the other day. I, I heard at the track and tacoed his uh, throttle plate. That was pretty awesome. Um, anywho, getting back on subject. So, my system, arm switch, when I press the gas pedal all the way down, if you listen, that's wide open throttle. Now, as soon as I crack the throttle back off, just a little bit, listen. You hear it? So now my system's off. On, wide open throttle, off. And that's letting all the way off, okay? So that's how my system works. If it's on, if, it's, if the system's armed, I floor it, nitrous is going to be going through it. As soon as I lay off, no nitrous is on. Very simple. That's how mine works. That's how I've had it on every single car I've had that I've put it on. Nothing fancy. Um, I mean, that's how nitrous kits used to come for ages until all this, you know, extra boxes and programmers and all that stuff they got out now. So that's pretty much how it works on my truck, guys. Um, obviously, the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm on my J Green 93 tune. I'm going to get my Diablo right here, and I'm going to upload... Uh, the nitrous tune that Jay sent me. Um, and then take this thing down the street, hopefully here in a second. Possibly. We'll see. It's raining out there right now. So probably won't do much good. Um, we'll just be probably spinning tires, but we'll see what happens. But that's basically how my nitrous kit works, guys. Hopefully that helps you out. And kind of explains uh, more or less how nitrous works in a nutshell um, it doesn't matter what brand you buy they all work the same um, the gas in the bottle is all the same there's no brand for nitrous it's it is what it is but who makes the kit is what where it comes from so I usually refill my own bottle that's a mother tank from uh, of nitrous that's another story. I think I already got a video up of how I refilled my bottle. Um, but other than that, that is it, guys. Um, it never fails. Every time I think I'm done, I keep remembering stuff. Um, so I, I'm trying to cram it all in this video. This video is going to be super long. So I apologize for that. It's turning into a movie, but... With something like this, it just it is what it is to try to get it as uh, most knowledge as I can put into it. The last thing I wanted to mention, all kits um, as far as their nitrous jetting and rating of horsepower, some are the same, some's different, okay? Um, nitrous Express, and that's the one I'm going to talk about because that's what I have. And that's the one I'm going to work with right now. So, Nitrous Express. Whatever shot size you decide to go with or you run. Okay, so we're going to say the 100 shot. You're going to use a 52 Nitrous Jet. And you're going to use a 27 Gasoline Jet if you're running gasoline or 35 for E85. We're just going to talk about gasoline right now. Okay, now for that 100 horsepower... And those jet sizes, that is to the tires, guys. Okay, so with Nitrous Express, they rate their horsepower to the tires. Some kits, you'll notice a 100 shot will say it needs, like, let's say a 47 Nitrous Jet. And what that is, is they're going off motor horsepower, crank horsepower. So it's a 100 horsepower to the crank and maybe 75 roughly to the tires, okay? So Nitrous Express, whatever the horsepower level is, they rate that to the tire, and it's usually spot on. Um, if you watch guys dyno with a, with a Nitrous Express kit, if they're using 100 shot jets or 150 jets, 98 to 99% of those guys is getting every bit of that rated horsepower. They're, they're getting every bit of that 100 horsepower to the tires on the dyno, if not more. Um, in a lot of cases, it's actually more. Like So 
say they, you know, you got 300 horsepower, no nitrous on the dyno, you put the 100 shot pills in, and you're going to make, you know, say 105 extra horsepower. This number's to the tires. And basically what I'm getting at, um, you know, so you do 100 horsepower, that's actually about 125 almost to on the engine, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. Like, say you want to go up, okay? So now you want to do, say, a 150 shot. Well, you're going to be around 175 crank horsepower, 150 to the tires. Basically, what I'm getting at, guys, is, you know, don't get greedy and just understand what's happening the more you go up, okay? And that's where people go wrong with this stuff. They just... It takes, you know, 10 seconds to change out them little jets and then, bam, you got some extra horsepower. But you got to be, you know, understanding what's what's going to come with it. So, just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, okay, this is a pretty cool uh, site that I've used before in the past. It's So, this site is called uh, Robbie the Robot, okay. Basically, it's a nitrous jet calculator. Uh, and how it works, basically you put your fuel pressure in, the nitrous jet size you want to use, and the bottle pressure that you run, and it will tell you how much horsepower you should see um, to the tires, and what fuel jet size you should run, okay? And just to kind of, you know, what I was explaining here, like how NX rates their shot size to the tire, um, this will clarify that and you'll see what I mean. Um, so, fuel pressure. My truck, like I said, was running about 62 when it's running. So, like I said, I'm just going to call it 60. Bottle pressure on Nitrous Express. Um, they want you to have around a thousand fifty bottle pressure. So we're gonna put in a thousand fifty. I mean usually anything over nine fifty to a thousand um is going to work pretty good and hit pretty hard, but ten fifty is the magic number that they say to run. So nitrous jet size, I already know a fifty two and as they say we'll make 100 horsepower, so we're going to put a 52 jet size for the nitrous. And then down here, this is number of jets or ports. Now, you know, for a single fog or direct port, etc. So with a plate kit, if you're just running one stage, then that would be one jet or one port. Or if you're running the nozzle that looks like the two fingers that screws into your intake hose, that would only be one jet or one port. Um, now, when you get in a direct port, then you have a jet for each cylinder. So if you're running like a V8, you're going to have eight. You'd change that to from a one to an eight because you're going to have eight actual uh, nozzles to work with. But in our case, we got one because we run a plate. And I'm going to hit submit. And then scroll back down here, and this is what it's going to say. So, fuel jet size they're recommending is 28, and nitrous jet size 52 that we put in, as you see, should produce 122 horsepower, okay? That's to the crank. Actual horsepower to the wheels will be 103.80. And that's what I was saying with Nitrous Express, the number they tell you is a number you're going to get to the tires, not to the crank. So just keep in mind, the more you go up, this goes up on the crank, and that's what matters. So a lot of people think they're running, say, a 150 or a 175 shot. Well, if they're running a 175 shot, they're really running 200 on the crank. So that's just what I kind of wanted to clarify. Um, a lot of other kits only rate it to the crank. So the jet sizes, you know, will be a little different jetting there. But in our case, I run Nitrous Express. This is how they work. 
So 100 shot gets you 100 horsepower to the tires and about 122, 125 to the actual crankshaft. So hope that helps you out. I hope that helps you out, guys. I'm sorry it was forever long, um, but it is what it is to be able to explain it. I wanted to try to be pretty, pretty thorough on it. So hopefully rain holds out tomorrow. I can get some runs in, and I'll definitely post them up. Um, if you got any questions, guys, like always, hit me up. You know, hit me up on YouTube, hit me up on Instagram. I've been talking to a lot of guys about nitrous lately on Instagram, helping uh, some other guys out. Uh, so take care, guys. Stay safe. Um, appreciate, you know, all the subscribers so far. Um, I think I finally got over 120 right now. Um, definitely, definitely appreciate it, guys. Um, helps out a lot. And uh, you guys stay safe out there. Take care.